What up, YouTube Digital? Happy Fourth of July, and thank you to the to the vets. And um, remember, always let them know you're there. Shouldn't have to say why. I think I've said it enough. But goddamn it, that number hasn't changed. And that pisses me off because it's something that. It's simple. I I've had a I've had a a friend call me about a month ago, month and a half ago, and she was in the army for God eight years now, and she's going through some PTSD pretty bad. There's some touching times for her. But, um, some of the shit she went through, even as a female, was not cool. I'm, she's, I mean, one of the things she told me is, um, I guess, uh, she just left the shower unit or whatever, and, uh, somebody tossed over an RPG or something over the wall and, uh, blew it up. Her two friends were in there and kind of blew it up on her. It wasn't really cool. And then uh, one of her jobs was um, she'd help gather up as much info and intel for the door knockers and stuff. So she would go through, you know, try to, to uh, you know, get in people's Facebooks and stuff like that and get you know, names of wives and all that other shit, you know, and she was having a hard time with all that and everything else, because a lot of it was people that she knew, because uh, she does come from a pretty popular base, and I'm not going to say which one, but, um, you know, it was just some fucked up shit, but, you know, after talking to her, I asked her a simple question. You know, if you were killed over there, would you want me to do it for you? And she answered, yeah. Then how could you respect somebody any more than... pack up their stuff and do all that type of stuff for them. <clears throat> and make sure, you know, try to make it where it's easiest for everybody else that has to go on from there. And, uh, you know, just, just simple shit. But, uh, there, there, there was a lot of other stuff, too. A lot of other stuff. Some dealing with a, a certain high-ranking officer who was... Nah, not gonna get into. Basically, he sent the... He was... They were doing... Flying them all over, or something like that. I guess he... They spotted something that he didn't like, so he sent a squad out there, and the goddamn fucking old squad got taken out. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. But, just remember. They all got stories. They're always fucked up. Doesn't matter if they're male or female. It doesn't matter if they had a desk job or whatever. People need to remember these wars don't have lines. There is no... Who is the enemy? 
you go to Afghanistan and point me out the enemy because fuck shit I wouldn't know until motherfucker pull out a gat I don't know who the fuck the enemy is and you know yeah but anyhow uh, one of the things I wanted to get into is um uh, this whole shit going on YouTube and social media and all this other shit, the, the gun march and all this other crap, you know, people need to flush that shit right down the toilet. First off, I'm going to say this, and I know it's going to piss people off, but um, most of these people that are... part of that stuff are fakes. There was a viral video about um, oh god dang now how long has it been? I don't know. About eight months ago somewhere in there and um, I debunked it really quick but I something just kept bugging me about it so I dug deeper and when I dug deeper I really found the scam and it was a good one it was a really good one I shared it with a lamb dog and after I shared it with him he saw it Queen is day. Fucking scam. All about the money. And it was against good people. Good, good fucking people. And that's the problem. Is that these scams go against people. That have no idea... And all that other shit. And. You know. Alex Jones. Oh god there's more. There's much more. But. Um. Don't. Don't, don't get involved in this shit. There are two things that we can do to help our country that is a million times more than what these fucking dumb jackasses have recommended. Now, I just looked up Ted Kennedy and realized that he was in office for 47 fucking years after he killed a bitch. And never got even fucking... And nothing for that. And then he was in office for 47 fucking years. Still pisses me off. We need to put all that other bullshit. We're gonna die. The guns are gonna be complete banned. We need to put that bullshit to the side right now. Because, first off, we don't have the numbers. Okay? And, uh, it was HBR Media and I were going back and forth on a video. And he said something about, like, in California. And this is, and if, if this is just off the top of my head trying to remember, you know, there's like 10% gun haters, 10% gun lovers, and then 80% of the, whatever. And, you know, that's about right. I, yeah. Well, the one thing with that is that gun haters always will be a gun hater. Sometimes they, they flip, but not often. But that 80%, those are the ones you don't want to piss off. The Occupied Movement, 
the tea party, the this, the that, the fucking, all the shit in the 60s, all that shit, you know, all that shit. When they got pissed off, that's when more laws got done. When the Black Panthers surrounded the state capitol, that pissed off everybody. What happened? More laws came in. The open carry movement in, in California that really went overboard. And people have no idea how overboard it went. And this whole this whole bullshit that you can't get a CCW in California, that's eh, bullshit. There, out of 56 counties, there was only seven that you couldn't. And there was a deal going before the open carry movement. I'm not sure if it's back or not. But they were going to sue the sheriffs personally as civil rights violation. But it all stopped during the open carry movement because it all got fucked. And NRA backed out. They lost funding and everything else. So they got fucked. And I even donated to it. So what people have been saying has not all been true. And uh, yeah. I, I just I just we're at a point that we need to get, we need to drop the bullshit. We need to back up. We need to get back to basics. We need to be here to remind people why it's important to vote. Why it's important to actually know who you're voting for and their actual record. And should you be doing it or not. Like there's people that uh, hate the the district attorney where I used to live. But he's been like fucking reelected now like 15,000 times. And it's like, okay, either people love him or people just keep checking that box. Well, you shouldn't be checking that box if you don't know. And what did I say before the big election, uh, the, the Obama's re-election? I said, it's not the president you need to worry about. It's that fucking people in those houses you need to worry about. And I was goddamn fucking right again. I'm sick and tired of being right. But of course, it all was on the president. The gun thing. You know, yes, I love guns. I'm glad my daughter does. But I feel that we're going to lose more and more gun owners as time goes on. Because people are not staying open enough to accepting new gun owners. And teaching them and helping them. And I made a video about it. About doing it the right way and leaving the bullshit out. You know? Because that's what kills it every time is the bullshit. It's just, you know, you look at any protest and everything else. They always end up lasting too long. They always get infiltrated by fucking dickwads. They always, you know, they always just fall to shit. Why isn't weed legal now? And it's not legal anywhere in the United States. I'm sorry, I don't give a shit about those two states. They're not real laws. Okay, I know. I smoke it more than you. I've seen probably more plants than people can even imagine. I'll have to do a video on that, but anyhow. <laughs> it's not about me liking it or not. Yeah, I'm saying, why isn't it legal? 
Because there's only two ways it's ever going to become legal. And until people figure out it's those people in the houses in Washington or the Supreme Court. Which then again comes from the house. So. You got to teach people the correct shit. Otherwise we're just doing nothing. And we're in a time right now that there's a lot of scam artists out there. And I'm going to say that I have caught so many scam artists out there. That is ridiculous. And there was a viral video within the last, what, eight months or so. And um, it was a good one. It was a good one. It, it, it took me a second glance. But uh, I shared it with uh, Lamb Dog, and he saw it after that. He saw it. It's a, it's a good one. And maybe he'll talk about it. I just don't want him to say what video or what the actual, how the actual scam worked or anything else. Because I, I don't want that shit getting out. I, it was too easy of a scam, but it was a fucked up scam. And it was making money off of fucking people that were afraid. And that's the worst type of shit right there. That's the worst type of shit. So, you know, you got to really look around and realize that if there's an advertisement, don't believe it. If you go to a blog and they have an ad, don't believe it. There's too many areas on the internet you can do a free blog. You don't need ads. You don't need ads unless you want money. And, you know, I do have monetized videos on one channel. Not on this one. They don't make me anything. I don't really give a shit. But I'm not out there telling people to fucking do, do felonies and shit. Okay? So, watch it. Because these people don't give a fuck. They just care about money. People blame the corporations. Uh, corporations aren't going to kill you. It's the people that lead you. And I'm not talking in the government. I'm talking street level. Most, most deaths happen in the street. just how it is I watch y'all I watch all that shit because I know better my dad's a con artist he would fucking he, what he has taught me and what I've gone I mean that man has gotten 20 plus cars on my mom's name after their divorce and my mom's never even had a license she was never there Never co-signed, and he was still able to do it. He was good. And I sucked it in. I learned. I'm okay with the beatings now. Because what I got in return, I'm okay with. Plus, I got to beat the shit out of him. But anyhow, different. Remember, don't trust. Because it's not going to get you anywhere. Be your own leader. Don't do anything that's going to fucking piss people off. Get back to the roots. Because right now, even if there was a revolution of gun, gun owners, there's not enough people. 
That's just bad. <laughs> With what they have now, they can have the fucking White House staff drone us. <laughs> oh, shit. Peace.